The Minister of Mines and Steel Development, architect Musa Mohamed Sada, said the ministry is set to exploit the mineral endowment spread across the country. He added that the highlight of the roadmap was developed to resolve the challenges prevailing in the mining sector. The target, which is to protect the rights of host communities and ensuring that mining activities lead to greater economic empowerment of the people. And the idea here is the roadmap itself, trying to look at what is on the ground, what can we do with what is on the ground. Moving forward after doing a few things, what can we do with the intermediate? Moving forward in the long run, what we can do. The Secretary General of the Federation, Senator Ayim Pius Ayim, commends the mining industry for putting several measures in place for the reformation of mining and mineral policy. Thereafter, Senator Ayim declared open the map for the development of solid minerals and metal sector in Nigeria. I must commend the diligence and dedication of the staff of the Federal Ministry of Solid Minerals Development articulating such a campaign which would transform the country's mineral and metal sector for the better. If properly implemented, the roadmap will help the ministry in transforming Nigerian solid minerals and metals into a strategic catalyst for domestic growth and global relevance. In Abuja, Abidat Lawal reporting for OGTV News.